Yo, what's going on guys? This is Boy Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today guys, we're back here in the Dragster TV headquarters, as you guys can see here. Now for today's video guys, I am actually going to be going over uh, exactly how my $1,000 gaming PC from CyberPower PC has held up over 10 months of use. Yes, that's, that's crazy to think. Uh, two months away from owning this thing for a whole year, and I'm going to make sure to do a full review and um, just go over how it's held up over exactly one year. The last video I did do reviewing this thing was how it has held up over six months, so that was four months ago. I've gotten some new games, I've uh, figured a couple of new things out um, about it, and uh, still, I will get this out of the way right now, have yet to have a single problem with it. Except for, and I've said this in every video since the first one, was that like two days after um, getting it set up, or maybe it was just the day after I got it set up, it was a long time ago, um, because of shipping and all that, and actually there's the box to it right there, um, I'm currently using it as a trash box, I just had it sitting in my closet in there. Anyways, um, pretty much after like having it set up for about a day, um, the graphics card came a little bit loose and the fan started spinning real fast and stuff like that. And uh, so I took out this cover and just like barely just touched my finger to it. So it just lightly came off due to shipping. After I just kind of pushed it into place, it didn't even click or anything. I just I kind of lifted it up with my finger and I pushed it in just a hair. And um, it's been fine since. So it just kind of came disconnected from shipping, you know. It's not going to be perfect. Um, uh, for some people it will. It will stay in for a long time. Uh, ever since I did just push in a little bit more after getting it, uh, I think the day after I got it, I uh, haven't had a single problem with it since. And uh, while I'm at it here, I'm going to go over something that has changed uh, that's a little bit obvious. And I do think it has definitely helped out the overall setup and the look and feel and vibe of my room here. And uh, that is that I got rid of my old lamp. I got a new light. And then right at the same time as I got a new light, I got some LEDs. Um, there's more in that box right there, and we're going to make sure it can go all the way around my room. So, that'll definitely look cool, but currently I'm waiting on some connectors to get in, but I just thought I'd update you guys real fast for those of you that uh, did notice it, and for those of you that have been keeping up with the channel, you, uh, this is the first time seeing the LEDs here, because the last video I did showing the whole setup, I did just have a little old lamp as my light source. But we got rid of that and we got some upgrades. Now let's go and hop straight into what today's video is about. And we're just going over how the PC has held up. And as I did mention, I haven't had a single problem with it uh, since the first uh, initial day of owning it. And that was with the graphics card, it slightly coming out due to shipping. And uh, as I did mention, I haven't had a single problem with it since. Now let's go into how it's been running my games and storage. That's a big thing. Now with this one, it didn't come with much storage. I'm going to have to double check how much storage it did come with. So I haven't saved too many videos, but at one time, my whole file of videos completely full because I forgot to go through and delete extra clips and whatnot. But if you go through and you delete, let's say you're using this, um, to mon let's say you're using this to manage a YouTube channel and make videos on as I am, uh, pretty much after every few months, if you go through and delete your uh, extra videos or your old videos off your computer once you don't need them anymore or you have them saved to let's say USB drive or your Google Drive or something like that then you shouldn't have a problem with storage. I personally have yet to have a problem with storage but I did notice I had a lot of videos on my computer at one point and I just thought the storage might be getting a little bit full uh, as I do also have plenty of games on here and I'm going to go through all the new games I did get on here and um, a few of, you may, few of them you may recognize because they are new and popular. Also, you may recognize that they're very big games and do take up a lot of storage and use a lot of RAM and whatnot when you do launch the game. But something I will say before I go through all those games is that this PC has held up very well when, when running and playing all those games as well as recording them all using OBS Studio here. And you can also leave it all open and running at the same time while you use your editing software here. My editing software of choice is um, Wondershare Filmora X. It's not really focusing there, but okay, it's not going to focus. But um, yeah, that is my editor I use. And then, of course, I use OBS Studio, as I did mention. 
and then all at the same time i may have a discord chat open i might be talking to someone or i might be listening to music in the background so really overall this thing does it all now let's go through a couple of the games i do play normally and um I'm going to describe to you how they play. As well, guys, you can check out just any of my most recent videos. I make a lot on SnowRunner. I made a couple on Farming Sim 2022, as well as Forza Horizon 5, and all the other games shown here, and then a couple on Rocket League and whatnot, um, which is actually not here on the cover. And once you watch those videos, you can get a feel for exactly just how fast it loads and runs the game. Um, I personally think that this PC runs Forza Horizon 5 the best. The, I mean, compared to on Xbox, I also do play this game on an Xbox. The loading times are near instant, and uh, it's just a great experience. Just super good quality, clear graphics, and the FPS is through the roof. It is super fast and high, and overall, I really just love this thing. And with Farm Sim 2022, if you do get your uh, graphics settings set up all correctly and just how you personally like to play the game, this PC can handle it and do it all while also getting your uh, running your uh, Discord chats, your recording or your streaming, or if you're playing music in the background and the game will still run completely smooth. And um, it's all just really personal preference. If you just, on every game you get on, crank up all the settings and just make the game run as clear and as fast as it can. Um, you know, the fans might be going a little bit fast here. Just, it might get a little bit loud. Um, but really, if you run them on like mild, uh, maybe a little bit above average settings and um, crank up the graphics just a little bit, uh, the PC will not have a problem running it at all. So, really, it can run just about anything. Uh, you can record it all or stream it all at the same time. And you can really just do everything on this thing. Overall, I am very happy with this PC. I believe it was $1,000 well spent. Let's see, that was 10 months ago. And in those 10 months, it's definitely paid itself off with all the videos and content I have put out to you guys. Uh, just using this PC in itself and the games on it as well as the microphone plugged into it and that's about it so it really just has definitely done its job for me and it should definitely do the job for you for whatever you are trying to use this PC for maybe to start a YouTube channel or grow a YouTube channel as I was trying to do with this I just thought it was a time to up a, a good time for an upgrade uh, from that little laptop uh, the real OG fans know that little laptop I had over there, and that was all I was using until I uh, made this major, amazing purchase, and overall it was a great upgrade. But you can also use this thing just for straight gaming. It'll really run about any game, and you can personalize your settings on most of those games to as high and as fast and as clear as the game will go, will go and the PC will handle it. So that is my 10-month review for my $1,000 CyberPower PC gaming PC. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a fat like if you guys did. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing rest, guys, there night. And with that, I'll catch you guys in two months with another video uh, going over what new games I've ran, if I've had any problems since this current video here, as well as anything new or changes that I found out about the PC, and just stuff like that. Now, from there, after this video, I will be continuing to do my daily videos on any of these games here and whatnot. So make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you have yet to, to never miss a new daily video from me. Now, for those of you that have been keeping up with the series, with me reviewing every, every few months how the PC is held up, I'll catch you guys in two months with a new video on that. But anyways, guys, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.